Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK, Global Bottom and the MTK show today at the Brentwood Centre. I'm joined by Jake Ball, come off a stoppy grin. Assessment of that first place? Yeah. Um, it, 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 it was a good awkward opponent. We had him, I think, it was a couple of days' notice, but um, he had a winning record. He had 32 wins with 26 knockouts, um, only 12 losses. So he's one of those, he, 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 was, he was trying to draw me in a bit. So Dom said, first two rounds, go out there, feed him out, see what he's about. Um, he, he was on the back foot, he, he, he sort of judged, he got stepped forward and then he, he was trying to draw me in for, for a big back hand. And um, I, I just kept them long, kept them sharp, and then um, end of the second round, Dom said, like, go in and I'll step up a little bit and just take him out. And then I, 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 I put shots together, a little movement, and got rid of him. How long have you actually been on the Dom for? Four or five weeks now? Yeah, 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 I've been up there for, for, for I think about three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. Okay, so nothing. Yeah, really oh, yeah, yeah. I, literally, that, that is just a tip of the iceberg. Tip over the performance, yeah, yeah. you had a big fight with Craig yeah, yeah. Richards. Well, Craig Richards next month, so um, yep. by the time I fight him, you're going to see a, a, a massive improvement. Oh, improvement. Yeah, but settling in into the Ingle gym? Oh, settling in, like, obviously, Dom, Dom the Diamond, um, all, all the boys up there are fantastic. How's it being around with Billy Joe and uh, all the boys. You've got Billy Joe, you've got Kel, Galahad. you've got Galahad, you've got all the boys, Willie Hutchins, Jay Quigley. Uh, 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 literally all the boys up there are just I imagine sound. it's quite a good band. Oh, there's a good bit of boxing yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on this fight being made between JJ McDonough and Chris Eubank Jr? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that JJ can work some magic. Yeah. Um, if he can, then obviously uh, it'd be a, a very good potential fight for us um, mm. in the future. But um, let's see, let's see. I've got no idea between none of them. I wish him all the best of luck. Do you think he's got a chance against Eubank? Let's see. Uh, he's late notice, you know what I mean? So obviously all the favours is in Eubanks. But, but um, personally, I can't see it. But um, I, I will be touch wood. <laughs> Touch where he can put it off. Yeah, sure. I was asking your trainer, Dom, about this. Obviously, there's talks of maybe of a Pacquiao 2 happening. Um, Khan wanted the Pacquiao fight. Your gym mate, Kel Brook. That's right. Um, do you think Khan has to take that Brook fight next? It's one of those where I think I think you just discredit him a bit if you don't. Because it, it, to me, the fight's probably a few years too late already. So it's one of those where the, the right stage of their career is now. Like they're both probably coming towards retirement. So yeah, I think it, it, it's, it's now or never really. I, I think I, I, I think all boxer fans around the world would rather see him fight Brook than, than Pacquiao. Mm. Khan said he wants a Pacquiao fight over Kel. What was Kel's reaction to that? Did he say anything to yeah, you? Yeah, no, I, I, I haven't seen him in the gym since actually. I, okay. yeah, I haven't seen him in the gym since, but, but it's, I should imagine it's, I, I should imagine that he, he, all he wants is, is the Khan fight. Mm. You know I mean? I, 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 I'm assuming anyway. I mean, that's, that's all he wants. You know what I mean? Anyway, it's a good stoppage room for you tonight. Yeah. How did the uh, MTK link up come about? Um, it was actually because um, it, it was one of those. I, I was meant to Fox on um, beginning this month on the matching show at Birmingham. Oh yeah. And, and then, and then um, I think something happened. Obviously, I was changing over. I needed a bit of time, so they gave me a couple of weeks to box on this show. So I had a little bit more time with Dom. And, um, and actually, they sorted it out for me. Uh, they said, look, we get on there for six rounds before. Of course, I need I ain't fought since last September. Mm. So, obviously, I'm not, not, not going to the rings. So I need mm. this little shake out to get a bit rusty out. Even though I've been training, like, I'm not one of those that when I'm out of the gym, I'm out of the gym, I'm meeting. I'm, I'm, I'm always in the gym training, learning, practicing. And then um, it's one of those where tonight I've got a good, a good little flush out there, a little three rounds. Yeah. Um, and then looking forward to the big one October. Yeah, sure. Exciting times with you under Dominic Ingle. But Definitely. well done tonight, and we look forward to the Craig Richard well, fight. Dominic Ingle is a terrorist shirt. Terry Stewart has been part of the camp since day one. <laughs> and he's still there and he'll be there to the end. Thank you. <laughs> well said, Jake. Top man. Thanks for your time.